Welcome, fellow hunters. Uh, this is Feyen. Uh, welcome back to my channel. Uh, I have a topic here that I've been observing over the past few months that I kind of want to talk about, and that is comparing Call of the Wild to Way of the Hunter and vice versa. And I think it's a healthy discussion that we all need to have because I'm not saying that it is already, but I think it's, it's not something you want the player base to be divided on, you know, as in which game is better, uh, if one's better than the other. And we can all, all have opinions, and that's fine. But I think overall, f for, for this genre to sort of flourish, I think we, as, as, as hunters, you know, as players, I think we need to sort of have an approach where we're welcoming of quality hunting games. And for so long, Call of the Wild has been that. You know, nothing has really rivaled Call of the Wild for, for so long that it became the standard. A very gorgeous game, you know, very well made. Uh, it has its issues and stuff like that, as all games do, but it's a game that we all appreciate, we all like. And ever since Way of the Hunter sort of came on the market, it sort of created this, this comparison because we have something now to sort of compare it to that's of quality. You know, uh, Way of the Hunter is, is an awesome new game and it, and what it offers, I think, really enhances the genre. And I, and I believe that these two games need to exist beside each other. And I think it's very important that it does because it, it caters for, I think, two different sort of types of player base or people. And when I say that, I mean, when we look at Call of the Wild, people would say that it's a bit, a bit more arcade type style of a game. Um, it's easier to shoot animals, easier to encounter animals. And the overall design of the game is it's a lot more welcoming, if you want to say so, to new players. And when you compare that to Way of the Hunter, Way of the Hunter feels a, a bit hardcore. Um, it feels realistic, um, every aspect of it. And a lot of real life hunters really see the difference and they really appreciate this game and they really want it to do well. And I think we all want it to do well. We all want Call of, Call of the Wild to continue to do well and Way of the Hunter to continue to do well. And this shouldn't really be a battle or a fight. We should just appreciate, you know, both games. I mean, of course, one, uh, of course, you're going to uh, personally favor one over the other, and that's fine. Play whatever appeals to you. But overall, I think these two games are fantastic. Um, they offer something different and amazing that we all can share and love. You know, and the, the concerning part of this is that uh, Way of the Hunter, the player base at the moment is fairly low. And maybe you can contribute that to to bugs, uh, maybe the, the launch it had. But um, I really don't want this to be a hinder to the game in the future because the devs are working overtime to get this game fixed. Who knows, it may take six months, it may take a year for this game to be, you know, at a place where other people can consider it, you know, good enough to give it a shot. But uh, if you check out the Discord, there's a lot of people here rallying with this game because we all care about it. We all want it to do well. And I love that. The hunting community is awesome. And I'm so glad to be a part of it. And we're going to continue supporting uh, the Way of the Hunter uh, staff, developer team, and make them feel welcome, make them feel that there's a place for their game, you know? Because I believe that they care, and we care. We want quality hunting. And the more feedback we can give them, I think will be the better. And what I fear happening slightly is that we want to sort of make one game the other. People want to make Call of the Wild, Way of the Hunter. And people want to make Way of the Hunter, Call of the Wild. And I say no. That's bad business. We can't allow that to happen. Way of the Hunter is a very challenging game, it's tough. And to dumb that down will be a disservice to what the game is. Like I've said before, 
this is the, the dark souls of hunting, and we need that. We need that challenge. Something that I feel Call of the Wild don't inherently uh, offer, and that's fine. It's okay to sort of, you know, turn things off and go to, to Call of the Wild and be able to shoot animals as you please, and it's nice. It's a nice change of pace, and that's what I'm, I'm advocating for: is to, for us to have choices. You know, um, as we know in Call of the Wild, it's it's a lot easier game to sort of pick up and run with. Um, it's a low investment game, and that's great. We have the hunter, not so much. You have to invest time in the tracking. You have to invest time in, in being patient, listening, looking out for animals, and it, it's a different pace. And some people enjoy that, some don't, some more than others, and that's okay. Because I feel this is a niche that needs to be protected. And I say that because there's so many games I see out there who who start off really well from a niche perspective. Um, they do good things, they, the player base is very happy. And what happens is over time, whether it's popularity or it's a money thing or whatever the case may be, these publishers start, start making the game sort of dumbed down or the same as the as other games and it dilutes the quality content that we always look forward to in those games and and these games they fall apart uh, people hardly play them uh, they've, they've, they've lost their mystique and that's what i don't want for for these for both these games is for their for them to lose their mystique um, I, I want more players to play them i want to be an advocate for these games because i love hunting I grew up hunting in the Caribbean, and this is a new space for me as far as hunting, and like not you know, and in the first world country type type of hunting where you have like you know, rifles and understanding magazines and all this type of stuff. We never had that back home, so this is new grounds for me, and I love it. I'm enjoying it. I'm learning, and I'm soaking it up like a sponge, and I want this to be an amazing genre going forward both these games, I want them to coexist, that we can all enjoy, and that the the community is not divided on these on these games because the last thing we need is for a player base to sort of dwindle, you know, and we lose one of these games. I really don't want that. Um I want I want them both to have long life and for us to enjoy them, you know, for as long as we can. Uh quality DLCs, again, have your say, come into the Discord and talk, speak speak your mind, share, and you know, so that we can all have a brighter future with these games. So guys, that's all I really wanted to touch on, and I um, hope you guys are doing well. Again, thanks again for checking out my videos, and uh, I'll have some more videos coming up soon. Take care.